Hello and welcome to the desk lamp tutorial. Now we're going to create this kind of a simple desk lamp and your design is probably going to be something different to this and I hope you put uh, put in all the details you want to put in. I'm going to keep it simple now for this tutorial's sake. So the design can be almost anything as long as it's this kind of a lamp which has a base and hinges in three places and the lamp shade or head. I'm going to start a new scene and I'm going to create the lamp base. We only use polygons for this for these exercises. So create polygon primitives and create a cube or a cylinder for the base, whichever is more your shape. Like that. If I want to be in the very middle, I'm gonna zero these translation values in the channel box. I'm gonna create another cylinder. Again, zero the translation. I'm going to create a beam and going to use a cube this time. So something like that. Going to move it to its place, and I want two of these to the to the bottom part. So Control D will duplicate it. I'm gonna create just a single beam for the upper upper bar so control D again for duplicate. Now move that to the right place. There. Now if I want these to be just one object for the to keep things simple, I can select those both, go to Mesh, Combine, and now those are just one, one shape. For the lamp head, I'm gonna create uh, use a pipe instead of um, a cube or a cylinder. Like that. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna rotate it yet. I'm just gonna lift it lift it to its place. I'm gonna go to the channel box and under inputs I'm gonna click on the poly pipe or whatever its name is and add subdivisions. So either either type I can type a number there or I can select the name and middle mouse button drag. Go to the side view to select vertices. So spacebar tap brought me to the side view. Uh, right click vertex. Can select these all these vertices here in the perspective views. You can see that everything is selected up there. And by scaling, I'll bring all that in. Can select those. Scale them in slightly. Select those. Lift them up. That's just that's just my design. Your design can be totally different there. And now go back to the object mode with F8 and rotate it. So I still need a bulb. Create polygons, sphere, and uh, bring it roughly there where the bulb should be. And that's all all the pieces I'm gonna need now for this tutorial. I'm gonna name them bulb and shade upper beam. We could have actually combined this with the base. So select them both, go to mesh combine. I'm going to call that base. Now all the parts are ready. 
but then we want to do a couple of things we want to get rid of all the modeling history so we're going to select all our pieces and go to edit delete by type and history you should always do this when you when you're finished with modeling anything we're also going to do another thing if we select any of these objects we can see that there's all sorts of weird tra translation rotation values especially scale values are not can be nasty so we select everything again and it's under modify freeze transformations and now when we select it all the translation rotation is zero and scale is one next i'm gonna parent everything together and the order it should should be done is so that when you select the base you can move the whole lamp so i'm gonna select the bulb uh, holding shift select the lamp shade as well and press p for parenting so now the bulb will follow the lamp shade always we can open the outliner under window menu to see what's actually happening there's our or our parts we select lampshade we select the upper beam p for parenting upper beam lower beam parent lower beam and base parent and as you can see they are now nicely under each other in hierarchy if you select base and move everything moves now there's one more thing to do if we want to rotate this or move move this lamp the pivot points are still in strange places we, we take the side view and move the road uh, the pivot points where the hinges of the lamp would be so we have to have the move tool on from w or from here press insert to get to move the pivot point and and move it roughly where where the hinge would be now select the upper beam again move the pivot where the hinge would be and in the lamp shape the same thing and when you when you're finished press insert again to get back to the move mode but now if you go to to rotate from e or this button here you can see that the the parts bend where they should bend like that now the last thing we want to do is put some color on it by by putting color on it i mean put some shaders on it under window there's rendering editors and hyper shade which is this different kind of shaders here and all the shaders in your scene here now by default we have this Lambert one ray on but as a general rule try not to use this ever or try not to change its color instead create new ones so there are a couple of different options for us or lots of different options uh, a couple of them would be useful now we could we could use another Lambert for the bulb so I, I clicked Lambert double click the Lambert um, here and click on the color and bring that to whatever whatever color you want. and you can get this to, to your into your object by middle mouse bu button dragging onto the object so now that, that gave the bulb that color for the for the for the lamp itself we could use say foam for a bit, bit of a metallic look again double click that go to color we're also going to use some black so i'm going to create another foam double click color and bring that to just black okay so now i'm going to drag that red onto the lampshade but as you can see the bulb changed its color it's because it's parented to to the lampshade 
and I wanted you to do this exercise in this order so that you you see that this can happen. The way to fix that in this case would be just to bring the bring the bulb bulb's color back again. But if we because these are all parented, if we if we bring this in, so everything's gonna color to red. So we just have to keep fixing the the colors we lose. Now if I want to have just some parts of a object in a in a in a different color, if I want say this to be black, this top part to be black, I can go to face selection, select the faces, just go around to check that only the faces you want are selected, and then do the same middle mouse button drag black there and F8 to get back to component mode. Maybe I'll do the same for this little bit here. So face selection, middle mouse button drag, F8 to get back to the object mode.